turn speed precision engineering in Yeovil, and I have to say, this is an absolutely fantastic machine shop. I mean, the machines that you've got here are absolutely amazing, and it's all about quoting seconds for production of parts, where you think maybe that's going to take five, ten minutes. And it is, it is absolutely amazing, and a big coup. Citizen Miano got their first machine in here. They have, they have. Um, turn speed precision's been here for about 48 years now. Um, started by the current director, Ron, who's still with us uh, very much every day. Uh, we use a wide variety of machinery, machinery high performance machinery. We're always looking for an edge. Uh, multi spindles, uh, 16 station, uh, multi spindles, six spin station. We, we're looking for a machine to help complement our smaller batch work. Uh, around two years ago, we, we were having uh, capacity issues on a, a 65 millimeter capacity twin spindle, twin turret lathe, uh, which we never seem to kind of get to the end of. So assessing the work, we assess that we've got uh, a high proportion of that work would fit on a smaller machine, uh, 42 mil and below. So instead of the investment, again, of another 65 mil machine, we started looking at machines in that area and we come across uh, the Mayano. And it's a BNA 42, a couple of things on that, it sort of sits in, in sort of in between in terms of the size of bar because there's a couple of different yeah, options that's it's, it's a bit of a hybrid machine it's kind of uh, the size of a sliding head but it's got a quite a bit of a larger capacity for for the larger work up to 42 mil um, so we got the benefits of the footprint of the machine being very small i mean we're we're quite tight on room in here as you can see and we can also obviously with the smaller footprint we can get three meter bar feed on the end as well which uh, makes the automation of the slightly larger batches easier on this machine. And a typical engineer, you move, you've only moved here six years and you're sort of running out of room already. But also with this, you've got the 42 mil bar. And you mentioned about being a bit of a hybrid, also a bit of a hybrid because it's fixed head, but that he fixed head will actually w work as a slider as well. Yeah, that's right. We've got the platen tooling on the front with three live tool stations on the front as well. Uh, we've got the turret on there. Uh, we can balance turn, balance mill, using those as well. I'm going to ask then, can you do your superimpose, so cutting it through the three faces? Yes, we can, yeah. Yeah, we have used it. Right. You, you have actually used that, and how, how was that? Yeah, it was, uh, it was relatively easy to program. Uh, the guys, uh, another benefit of this machine, actually, the guys that we put on this machine have been used to a completely different operating system, have picked this machine up really well. Within a few months, uh, we were very productive making parts on this machine and the parts that we'd pulled off the larger machine, we were finding benefits of cycle time on this machine. Okay. And to just clarify, Mitsubishi controls? Mitsubishi control, yeah. And in terms of the programming, are you using the Alcart Wizard? Yes, we do use the Wizard on this machine. Again, something the guys have picked up very quickly, very easy to use, um, and we haven't had any issues with that at all. Now, LFB is, you know, people, a lot of people are hearing about that. This does have the LFB on it. How, how are you finding that? To be honest, we haven't used it that often. Um, we, we have found a lot of the materials we use being more high volume or softer materials, s slightly smaller batches. On the couple of the jobs we have used, it has enabled us to leave the machine running and move to another machine. So it's not about cycle time reduction with the LFE on, on the work you're doing, it's about the unmanned running, the 24 seven running. Yeah, that's correct. We, we have found, uh, being honest with you, that it has added a slight bit of cycle time on some of the jobs we've done. We are very cycle time critical here. We, we quote in seconds. We, we expect seconds to be taken out all the time. Um, so when the, when the guys come up and say, well, I've got the LFE going, but it's added a bit of time, you're kind of like, well, we don't want that. But if you've got it on, is there a benefit? And yes, I can leave the machine running. I can move on to another one. So. Okay, that is an absolute fantastic endorsement, A, of turn speed precision engineering, but also the BNA 42. Is there anything else you want to add to that though? No, uh, the service we've had from Citizen has been great. Uh, the, the sales sales rep that's come around, he's been fantastic, Tony. He's a good, so good guy. We don't want to name drop Tony Nolloff, but I think we're going to have to then, aren't we? Do, yeah. yeah, he's a great guy. He's come around. Uh, good support from them all the way from the start. No issues with the machine so far. Steve, turn speed precision. Thank you very much.